Bobby back on top. The turnover by Lynn leading to the field goal by James. Wow. The steal by Wade, chased by Lynn. Wade. Once again, Miami's defensive presence has taken the spotlight as they now lead it by three. Chandler rejected and fouled. Met by three members of the Heat. When this Heat team defensively turns up the rudder, they're almost unbeatable. They lead the league from skills to points in transition and almost 21 a game. A nice finish there by LeBron James with the steal. And then back after that was Dwayne Wade just robbing Tyson Chandler. Tyson Chandler to the line, a 72% free throw shooter. TNT on Tuesday. These streets have a pulse. Detective Lydia Adams knows every beat. Don't miss an all-new episode of Southland. That's Tuesday at 10, 9 central only on TNT. Tyson Chandler acquired from Dallas in that sign and trade. Key member of the NBA champion, Dallas Mavericks. Very significant in the finals Absolutely. against Miami. To me, he was the difference of the Baker, especially in that 2-3 matchup zone that Dallas played throughout that series, really forcing LeBron James and Dwayne Wade to take a lot of outside shots. Just under two minutes remaining. First half. Tom is able to split through, kicks it out for Battier. Yes. Three-pointer for Shane Battier. You know your personnel. You know where they like it. Shane Battier started the season slowly from three-point land, but has come on. They double up on Smith. Pass intended for Chandler. Recovered by Stoudemire. Two on the shot clock. Lynn fires for three. Rebounded by Battier. Wade with a series of head fakes to set it up for Joel Anthony. And the ball's deflected out. Last touch by the Knicks. Let's see what happens when you struggle offensively like Carmelo Anthony and more importantly Jeremy Lynn. You start to press and take bad shots. Battier has been a huge factor in this first half. Miami up by six. They double up on Lynn. See Battier jumping out. Lynn got the step. Nice move. Did not finish. Lynn gets it out to Carmelo Anthony for three. So it's a three-point lead for the Heat. 34 seconds remaining in the half. Well, Mike D'Antoni, with all the turnovers and the steals from the Heat, to be down only three, you've got to be very fortunate. They double up on James. And LeBron is fouled. Fouled by J.R. Smith. Foul to give, so Miami will put it in play. Udonis Haslam checks back in. Now the Heat can play for, I think, the last shot, but 25 left in this second quarter, 15 on the shot clock. Well, this rivalry has been renewed. This is great. I mean, the atmosphere, the fans, there's a lot of Nick fans that have come down from New York. A lot of blue and orange in the building. A lot of Nick fans live here in Miami. True, very true. Wade using the clock. Out of five on the 24. Out of three. Chalmers. Yes! From downtown with the shot clock running down. Final seconds of the half. It's all Carmelo. And he hits. That'll count. They will review it, but he got it off 
on top of Miami with a 51-47 lead at the half. Well, how about this? Shot clock running down on both instances right here. Chalmers does an excellent job. Look at that step back three, which you thought was going to be the last points of the half. But here's Carmelo Anthony, back-to-back -back baskets for the Knicks. All right, we'll take a quick break and then send it to City Walk Universal Orlando Resort for the Sprint Halftime Report with Ernie Kenny, Charles, and Shaquille. Terrific first half in Miami. The Heat up by four. Six to the Miami Heat. Been an emotional battle down there. 230 miles south of us, 51-47 at the half, and we welcome you. Ernie Johnson, now Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Charles Barkley are here. We will discuss this game at length here on the Halftime Report. I know when you spend a day at the park here at Universal, it builds up an appetite, and the great thing about this place is if you really want to eat, it's a perfect place to just say, bam, and they bring food bam. from Emeralds. Bam. Come on, guys, that was a, a cue. That was a cue. Bam was the cue they, to bring not in. This oh is awesome. Goodness. This is awesome. Oh, you like you, shrimp? Uh, chef, chef, you like oh, chicken? You can pass chicken? that down to Chuck. Is that a Chuck? Chuck. It's a, chef, take the steak and chef the David McKelvey of Emerald Restaurants. What, what are they, we, they, what are we uh, dining on here, this, Chef David? Well, gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you on behalf of uh, Chef Emerald and our two on property restaurants. Emerald's Orlando right here at City Walk right behind us. Right. And Emerald's Chop Chop at the Royal Pacific Resort, which is uh, just a short boat right away. Thank Shaq. you, Emerald. Absolutely. This Shaq. looks this looks like vegetables here. There are vegetables on it, but there's good stuff. Okay. Uh, the, aren't you well. eating vegetables these days, Charles? <laughs> I'll swap with you. <laughs> Too late. I'm good, I'm man. I got, I got the barbecue <laughs> shrimp down here. Oh, it's awesome. The barbecue shrimp is the best thing I see up here. You're supposed to put your finger on it to make sure it's real. And what Shaq, what Shaq is having right here. Shaq's is having a cowboy ribeye with some Bordelais potatoes oh. and our homemade Worcestershire sauce. Oh. 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 And, and Kenny has? Oh Ken, my Kenny God. has the, the garlic grilled black Excuse tiger me. shrimp. With the lemon no noodle garlic. cake. <laughs> Tell and them, a, uh, you don't need no garlic. Now, what, what, what is sauce. this? And Charles? Charles has our andouille sausage crusted redfish. Ooh, I've heard about potatoes that. Nice. And uh, a ragu of some uh, uh, roasted vegetables with creole manure sauce. Our, our, our producer, Tim Kiley, had that the other this night. This barbecue shrimp? No, barbecue the, uh, shrimp, the, the one fish. and only. The yeah. redfish, yes. The redfish, and you've Dude. got roasted pork shoulder wrapped in banana leaf. Ooh, oh, wow. chop okay. chop. So I gotta go underneath the chili. Just open down, it man. up like a tamale. It's really uh, awesome. Very cool. Don't, don't forget Kenny, about the much. banana cream pie too. No, no he does that TNT. It's hey. impossible to forget. Thank you very much. Thank you, gentlemen. Hey, thank you, my Thank you, David. Thank you. Hey, Shaq. Before we get to the highlights of the first half, a lot of build up to this game, and Jeremy Lin going down there. Were the Heat just licking their chops waiting on this? What was the uh, what was the mindset? Well, I know what D-Wade and, and LeBron were thinking. They're thinking like, okay, kid, you're averaging 23.8. You've been getting 15 days of great press. We're going to come down here. We're going to see if you're a great player. And right now, they're doing a great job. He only has two points. And you know what, what struck me, Kenny? They had so much pressure right in his chest. No breathing room at all defensively. Well, you know, honestly, this is the NBA. No boys allowed. This is a man's game tonight. This is a game that the Miami Heat kind of focused in like as a playoff game. But this is a game for me. Carmelo and Amari Stoudemire, they've been in games like this. They've actually dominated in games like this. So they have to take that pressure off of him. This is Jeremy Lin's first time seeing what really the NBA is about because this is the best two players in the open court and probably one of the best players in basketball is on the floor right now. So they have two of the top five players. He hasn't seen this. Well, have Amari he... and Carmelo have. This is a night yeah. where you have to say, I'm going to take over the game for you and, and get you comfortable in this environment. That being said, he has seen the Lakers. He has seen the Dallas Mavericks, yeah, but, but he yeah, has not no. been. Time he's no, on the road against these guys, this team. Ernie, the, the, the difference is points, that they're two. focused in on him. He's part of the scouting report for, for real. And this is a playoff atmosphere, and they know that they want to put pressure on him and send a message in the Eastern Conference because Jeremy Lin doesn't play against the Lakers but once or twice. It's not a big game. New York basketball against Miami has always been big, and now it's big again, and they have to make a statement tonight, and they're doing it. Charles? Well, well, listen, this is the first time he's really felt the bright lights on the road. And Miami was going to be ready for this game, but I'm going to give the young fella a pass. 
His life has been turned upside down in the last two weeks. He's got to be getting physically and mentally tired. He's never been through this. And this is, he's ready for the all-star break. Yeah, and he, he's, and they're going at him too. As, sure. he, as he gets more press, these other point guards are gonna go at him. But I'm going to give him a pass tonight. That kid has got to be exhausted physically and mentally. Certainly his roughest half since becoming a starter uh, running the show for the New York Knicks. But still another 24 minutes to go and he has shown some, some great second halves uh, since becoming the starter. You know, one thing you don't want to do is give a subpar team life. You know, Miami is playing excellent. New York is playing okay and they're only down four or five points. So the Knicks are going to come back in. Uh, you know, second half, very, very confident, and they're going to be looking to win this game. It's a 51-47 game, Miami with the lead. New York has turned it over 15 times, six of those by Jeremy Lin, but it is a four-point game. Enough talk, enough talk. All it's right, time to yeah. dive into this. Yeah. We'll take a break. We'll come back with more on the Sprint Halftime Report in I just a no second. Four. Yeah, Look at no boys allowed. That you are eating that like a cowboy. That's uh, that's for sure. That's how many he's taking. I got four. No boys allowed, NBA. Can I get a four? The Sprint Halftime Report, live from Orlando, Florida, the site of NBA All-Star Weekend, is brought to you by Sprint, the new official wireless partner of the NBA. On the mix, Marv Albert, Reggie Miller, Craig Sager, and Reggie, you look at the, uh, the stat sheet rundown. Despite 15 turnovers committed by the Knicks, they're trailing by, by just four. Yeah, if I'm Mike D'Antoni, I'm very encouraged about that, and that's why you play two halves of basketball. And if you're Jeremy Lin, you've got to put that first half out. I'm not so worried about him scoring because he is a point guard and a distributor. Only two assists at the half, and I think he can be more aggressive. We talked about that high pick and roll at really extending that big and finding his shooters and cutters as opposed to trying to split or get into the teeth of the defense to score. Lynn with six of the 15 turnovers, just one of five from the field, but they have certainly made it a point to go after Lynn right from the start. Miami ball as we get underway, third quarter. Bosch try to stuff it. Kept alive by Bosch. Miami with their starting lineup. Wade rebounded by Chandler. All right, for more on Jeremy Lin, let's go to Craig. Well, Mike Nettoni says Jeremy Lin has never seen the speed and pressure of the Heat defense like he has tonight. But he told him, listen, when you blow by somebody, you got to keep going. If you stop to figure it out, that's when their speed will kill you. He said he's a smart kid. I promise you, he'll have a better half this time around. All right, Craig Lin missing on that open jump shot. Here's Chalmers with some room. Just not a three-pointer. And back comes Lynn. And that's the beauty about the game, the NBA game. Every game takes on a whole new life. Hey! Lynn on the drive is fouled. He was hacked. And for Jeremy Lynn, he's seven and two, eight and two as a starter. He hasn't seen the type of speed from Carmelo Anthony, LeBron James, and these kind of guys, Dwayne Wade. So he's got to be able to adjust his game on the fly. One of five. And I'm not worried about the field goal attempts or the scoring. To me, he should have more than two assists. Do you think he's been overwhelmed by what has taken place here? I think a lot, as Charles was talking about, has been put on his plate. Um, Media responsibilities, and there's been so much hype and publicity, and Hello, people following his family. He's, he's handled it great, he handled it very well, but it's still a lot. You know, there's bright lights in New York City, and I think once he gets accustomed to all that, I, I think uh, we'll start to see this this happen again for him. But he could be getting tired as well. This is a lot of games for him to be playing. He's played a lot of minutes during the course of his previous ten starts. Shot clock down to four. James, yes. It's a two-pointer, had a foot on the line. Miami shooting at 46% for the game. That's 10 points now for LeBron. The Knicks at 44%. Wild attempt by Anthony, but he drew the foul. It's on Joel Anthony. Commits the